Hey y'all! In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I make my custom button up and pants set. Materials you will need for this set is a dicky shirt. My customer requested a khaki shirt, so we're gonna do a khaki's dicky shirt. I am making this for a 12 to 8 month baby. I like to get a bigger size shirt, like large and extra large long sleeve, so I can have more materials to work with. So you're going to need a large or extra large Dickies shirt, whatever color. And then you're going to use just like a button up shirt. You can get it from a thrift store anywhere, but this is what you're going to use for your pattern to trace over the shirt and just a, a pair of pants as a pattern to trace over the Dickie shirt. And you're going to use elastic, 7th, 8th inch elastic. Sorry, advance for the background noise. If you guys hear anything, that's my baby. I am a work from home mom. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start by placing my toddler size button up shirt on top of the big, the dicky shirt. Just like this. Make sure the collars meet up. And you're not going to, don't mind the pockets. So now you're just going to trace the outline of the little shirt on top of the dicky shirt. So after I'm done tracing the outline of the shirt, the baby shirt on top of the dicky shirt, I'm just going to go ahead and cut what I traced. And I'm going to repeat this same step with the pen. I'm starting on my bottoms, my pants. So I'm going to use my sleeve for my pants. So each sleeve is going to give me each side of my pants, if that makes sense. So like the same, I'm going to just do my trace. Okay, after I'm done tracing, I'm just going to cut it out. So when you're done cutting, you should have two pieces for your pants, your top, and your two sleeves. And we're going to sew these all together. Once I'm done sewing my sleeve onto the shirt, I'm going to take it and flip it inside out and go ahead and sew my shirt together. Once I'm done sewing my pants together, 
I'm going to go ahead and start feeding my elastic through the top of my pants. I had already went off camera and made a half inch stitch around the rim of the pants. And now I'm just going to take my elastic with the safety pin uh, through the top and I'm going to feed it through my pants. And here's the finished product. This is also before I decorate it.